Hi, it's Grandma Karen. Today we're going to start our journey in making a quilt. There's a lot to learn before you sew it together, but we're going to walk through the steps in these videos. The first thing you need is to find the best place to sew, a place that has good lighting and fits your height. Your sewing machine needs to be on a sturdy flat surface. Examine all the tables in your house. There's regular tables, card tables, fold-up tables, computer tables. There are lots of options. Here are a few tables in my house. This is the first one is the kitchen table. It's about 28 inches high. My other dining room table is 30 inches high. The card table will work, but it's not quite as sturdy. Um, my card table is 28 inches high. Online, you, they're usually around 29 inches high, but you can also find them as high as 34 inches. So pay attention if you're going to get a card table. This is an old sewing table that comes up around the front of the machine. It's 27 inches high. And then the last one is a fold-up table. Now, most of us have a fold-up table. They're usually six feet long and they're about 29 inches high. This table is only four foot long and it's two inches wide and it's ideal because it's adjustable. You can set it at 21 inches, 24 inches, 26 inches, and 28 inches. This brand of table is called Lifetime it's about $60. Most of the desk, desks in my house are between 29 and 30 inches high. Now let's look at some chairs. Here are a few chairs I have in my house. Each is a different height from the floor to the base of the seat at the front of the chair. The folding chair is the lowest. The office chair can be adjusted. This table is 29 inches high. The chair is 18 inches high. Hannah is four foot five inches tall. In the first photo, notice how her shoulders are raised. Her elbows are down and her wrists are angled down. This is horrible posture. She wouldn't be able to sew for very long because her shoulders, back, and wrists would begin to hurt. In the second photo, she's sitting on a pillow. Her shoulders are a little more relaxed and her wrists and elbows are not as bent. It's still not perfect. In the third photo, Hannah is propped up on a pillow and a blanket. It doesn't seem very comfortable or stable. Her elbows, wrists, and shoulders are much better though. But notice that her feet no longer are touching the floor. We would have to raise the foot control off the floor and somehow secure it to a riser. None of these solutions seem good for Hannah. We probably need a shorter table. Allie is taller than Hannah. She is four foot 11 inches tall. The first photo is the, in the, the chair is 18 inches high. This adjustable table is set at 28 inches in the first photo. It is too high for Allie. See that her wrists are bent down, her shoulders are hunched a little bit. The second photo shows the table set at 26 inches high. Her posture is much better. The third photo has the table at 24 inches. Allie's elbows and wrists are best at this height, but it might be a little tight squeeze for her legs. The goal is to have the elbows at about 90 degrees when the when your hands are on the bed of the sewing machine. This is the lowest setting at 21 inches. It is too low. See how her shoulders are slumped forward? You may be a tall person. This same process applies to you. You may need an adjustable office chair to get you in the correct position so you aren't hunched over when you sew. Ryan is five foot 11 and a half. He is sitting at two different tables in his house. He's in the same chair for both. In the first photo, the table is 29 and a half inches tall. The second table is 28 inches tall. Notice that in the first picture, Ryan's elbows are less than 90 degrees and his wrists are slightly bent. In the second photo, his elbows and wrists are less bent. This is better for the two choices in his house. You may fi not find the perfect table and chair, but it is wise to experiment and find the best fit. After finding the right table and chair, it is time to arrange the sewing machine. In the first photo, the sewing machine is too far away from Allie. In the second photo, she pulls it closer until it is a comfortable place you should do this every time you sit down to sew. Now slide the sewing machine to the right or left so that when you are sitting, your nose is in front of the needle and the presser foot. The goal is to have elbows at about a 90 degree angle when your hands are on the bed of the machine. Your nose should be directly in front of the needle. The last thing to adjust so you have a comfortable sewing session is the foot control. In the first photo, Allie has her left foot on the control. She's right-handed, so this is not ideal. In the second photo, she has her right foot on the controller, but it's still in the center of the floor under the table. In the last photo, she has adjusted the foot control so it is comfortable for her by pushing it to the right. Her left foot is flat on the floor. This is the ideal. Sometimes while sewing, the foot control tends to creep around while you're sewing. 
you may have to adjust its position during your sewing time. If it's a big problem, put a piece of this type of shelf paper under the foot control on the floor. It should really help. This shelf liner is called Select Grip. There are several brands. It is, a fo it is foam with holes in it. It is non-adhesive. It can also be put under your sewing machine if it slips around on the table from the vibrations of the sewing machine. If you find out that you love to sew and like to sew for extended periods of time, there are several things you can purchase or build to make it easier. They all help you your posture and help you keep the quilt on the bed of the machine instead of hanging off the edges of the table. Some sewing machines come with a table that slides onto the machine. It adds extra surface for sewing and makes it easier to sew. There are many tables and cabinets made for sewing machines. This one drops into the, the machine drops into the cabinet. A special insert is ordered that fits around your particular brand and model of machine, making the machine flush with the top of the cabinet. This older sewing machine table pulls up around the sewing machine. The part that comes up can be adjusted to fit flat up against the bed of your machine. Another thing you can do is order a portable extension table from Sew Steady. They will build it to, you, to go with your particular machine. It comes in several sizes. It is a large acrylic table. See the Sew Steady website to order one for your sewing machine or ask your sewing machine dealer to get you one. I've also seen people make their own extension table with a cardboard box. Place your sewing machine in a place that has good lighting. If you're in a corner or in a dark place, you might need to bring a lamp in. Some sewing machines have good lighting and some do not. Now it's time for your homework. Yes, you will have homework at the end of each video. Ask your grandma, your teacher, your mentor, whoever is helping you to pass off the following things. Find a good sturdy place to put your sewing machine on. Find the right chair to sit on so that your elbows are at about 90 degree angle when your hands are on the bed of your sewing machine. Set the machine up so your nose is in front of the needle. Move the machine close enough so it is comfortable. Place the foot control where your dominant foot is comfortable and your other foot is flat on the floor. And then make sure you have good lighting. Now you have figured out the best place in your house to sew. Next time we will begin to learn little, a little bit about your sewing machine and how it works, about the buttons and levers on the machine. The next few videos will have separate videos for several different machines. There will also be a generic machine version of the video. Find the video that is closest to the machine you have. See you in the next video.